ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில்ஸ் லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி அபவுட் நதர் லிசனர் விச் இஸ் தி அக்ரிகேட் கிராஃப் ஆர் தி அக்ரிகேட் ரிப்போர்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் வாட்ச் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஆன் வியூ ரிசர்ச் ஸ்ட்ரீ ஆர் சம்மரி ரிப்போர்ட் ப்ளீஸ் டு செக் த வீடியோ இன் த ப்ளே லிஸ்ட் so now let's move on to the video today which is the aggregate report and before we move on to the to the video i request you all to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet so with no further delay let's move on to the video so let's start on how to add the listener which is the aggregate report so for that we have to right click on the thread group choose add and under and we have to go to the listener and the third option is the aggregate report and here we can see various set of metrics which is the samples which we have already discussed in our previous video which is the number of hits which we have which are send which are sending it to the application and then we have the average response time and then we have the median and then we have the 90% line 95% line 99% line the minimum maximum the error percentage throughput the received kilobytes per second and the sent kilobytes per second so what is the 90% 95% and the 99% so these values are called the percentile value so what does this 90% 95% and 99% represents so say for example so let me take a notepad file and in this notepad file what i'm going to do now is we have different numbers right so we have got 1 to 10 and when it comes to 90th percent say for example if we have 100 numbers and the 90th percent is the ninth number which is the ninth value and this is the 90th percent and how do we achieve this say for example if we have so every time when we run a test we don't get the response time and increase but also we normally get the response times something like 3 4 1 6 8 7 7 something like the 7 12 10 so what does this tool does or uh, this particular listener does is it arranges the values in a top down manner so let me just bring you a different example so now you can see an excel sheet here so say for example if we have a random set of numbers for for our 100 request and say for example i'm just bringing a function so just don't mistake me for bringing in to more of an excel thing so just rand between and i'm choosing 1 to 100 so i have got 93 in the same way let me drag it to 100 numbers so here we have got multiple set of numbers so this is how we normally get the response times so what does this 90% or 90% Does a 95 percentage, does a 99 percentage. Does is it just goes to this and then sort the sheet A to Z, or let me just do it again. So it's sorting A to Z, or okay. And now we have sorted the response times. So in the 90th. percentage line which is we get the 90th percent 90th percentile which is the 90 seconds as the response time and then when it comes to the 95th and the 99 it's the same so 95th is the 90 the one that stands on the 95th line and then the 90th so what is this i mean why do we need to do this so this is to find what is the not the maximum response time but the maximum percentile which we have achieved so that is what we have or we want to know when we do the testing so that is why we do this percentile thing to find the response times but still we have the minimum 
average and the maximum response times but apart from that we do have the 90th 95th and the 99th percentile response times so now what we'll do is now let's compare the summary report and the aggregate report and see how does it work, like what is the difference between the summary report and the aggregate report so i'll have opened another performance the, the performance testing window and let me just open the script here again and i am opening the summary report so here we have the summary report and then we have the aggregate report so let me just bring it down so that it's easy for us to compare the reports and here we can see in the summary report we have the number of samples and the same number of samples is present in aggregate report and then we have the minimum maximum average yes we do have the minimum maximum and the average and then we have the standard deviation so we do not have the standard deviation but instead we have the median and then we have the error percentage yes we do have the error percentage in the aggregate report and then we have the throughput so we have even we can have the throughput we have the throughput in the aggregate report we have the received and sent yes we do have the received and sent but we do not have the average bytes and apart from that we have the 90th 95th and 99th percentile and since most of the stakeholders might ask for the 90th 95th and 99th percentile so this will help in case if you want to add an extra value to the results so let's now what we'll do is we will run the test and see how does it work so we have http requests and let's run the test and see how does it work and for now okay let's don't start and i will just remove this let me just remove this and we will move it to the aggregate report and let me name it as agri aggregate report results and again we have the same set of options which is the errors and the success so in case if we want both of them so we can just leave it unchecked so we'll get both the errors and the success in case if we want either of them we can choose either of them and then again we have the configure options which is the same set of options we had for the summary report okay so let's now start the test and see how does it work so i'm just start with the test and here we can see the number of samples which is the number of requests that we are sending to the server and then here we can see the average response times the total of the average response time and then the median response times and then we have the 90th percent and then we have the 95 percentile and then we have the 99 so here we can see one thing which is common which is the 90th percentile 95th and 99 are increasing which is in the maximum like they're getting the descending value so 38 and then we have 40 and then we have 45 the 40 is more this greater than the 38 and then the 45 so this is how when we order the number in an ascending order and when we go towards the end the number will get higher and the same way here we can see for the http request mm -hmm. for the number one http request which is the 90th is 46 milliseconds and then for the 95 it is 118 milliseconds and for the 98 it is 99 it is 124 milliseconds and here we can see one common thing which is there is a huge difference between the 90th and the 95 percentage that is percentile which is it is like 100 percent which is like two times more than what it has for the 90th percentile and so that shows that there is there can be some bottlenecks in sending and receiving the response and here we can see there is not a huge difference between the 95th and the 99th but there is a huge difference between the 99th and the maximum response time which is almost three times more than what we can what we have seen for 99 i mean the response times for the 99 percentage so this actually helps us to understand if there are any bottlenecks in the response like or in the application or if something goes wrong but when we see the summary report we can just see the minimum average maximum so that's it so we so again <coughs> it's the same what we see there but 
we can study a lot or we can explore a lot when it comes to this aggregate report because this shows us the more of an insights in, into the response times because although it tells us the minimum maximum and average but it also tells us the 90th 95 and 99 and also it tells us that there's a huge deviation between the 90th the 95th the 99 and there's a difference between the 99 and the maximum so this actually helps us to understand and this in fact it actually helps us to learn more about the response times and this will definitely helps us to crack more bottlenecks that we face for any application so with that we come to an end i believe this video would have been very useful to you so until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye from us in shanmugam and little's law